Hey guys, Steve here. Just wanted to make a quick video on why I'm exposing the New Age movement. Because some people are asking me, you know, why don't you let people believe what they want to believe? Why is it such a big deal? Why can't you just have your own private beliefs and leave everybody else to their own business? So before we get into the reasons, I just want to say that um, this is not going to be about me Bible bashing you or something. This is not a me against you paradigm. Six months ago, I was a New Ager still, and some of you have probably had your beliefs and your ideas, you know, strengthened by some of the articles of mine that you've read. So it would be completely unfair for me to do a 180 degree turn out of nowhere and then start chastising you or condemning you or something. That's not what this is about at all. And like I've said in a previous comment, I won't even be touching on Christian doctrine at all until I've first established a case that Jesus existed and then a case for his divinity, because it would be completely unfair for me to judge you guys based on something that you don't know yet. There was a time where I didn't have all of the knowledge and experience and information that I do now, so it would be unfair of me to condemn you for not believing something when you haven't had it presented to you in a rational way. So the first reason why I'm going to be exposing the New Age is because people want to hear the truth. People deserve to hear the truth. And they're currently being lied to. Some of the stuff that gets talked about in the New Age, it's not demonic or satanic, but it's just straight up false. For example, so much New Age doctrine is hinged upon Atlantis, which is believed to be some lost ancient paradise that was ruled by godmen of higher consciousness or something. And it's always tied into other ideas like uh, ancient aliens or the Lumerians or channeled material or occult knowledge or something like this. When in reality, there's absolutely zero evidence that Atlantis ever existed. Yes, there's evidence of advanced civilizations in the past. Yes, there's evidence of lost underwater civilizations. But there's no evidence that Atlantis in particular existed. In fact, the only time it's mentioned in the ancient world is by Plato, who was using it fictionally to represent an ideal state of the world. And this Atlantis myth is almost always pushed alongside a Luciferian philosophy. So one of the reasons I'm exposing the New Age is just because there's some stuff that's just false, and I don't think anybody wants to actively believe in something that is obviously false. So some New Age ideas I'm going to be exposing just for the sake of truth, and just so people can have something to dig their teeth into that actually corresponds with reality and corresponds with the world that we live in. The second reason I'm exposing the New Age is because it's a counterfeit form of spirituality. It's basically Hindu mysticism boxed in occult knowledge and wrapped up in a bow of paganism. And we're fed this and told it's the highest form of spirituality out there. And now we're awake. Now we've ascended to a higher level of consciousness and all this stuff. When really these are just a bunch of old ideas that have been recycled and mishmashed together. And there's a better form of spirituality out there that comes in the form of you having a relationship with God. And people are being told they have to meditate. They have to practice mindfulness. They have to be more present. They have to study occult knowledge. They need self-understanding. They need to reach deeper, more fundamental levels of consciousness before they're able to achieve enlightenment or realize a higher state of consciousness. And people put all this time, effort, and money, and energy into all of this stuff, and there's a much simpler way to have a relationship with God that's actually real, tangible, and isn't contingent upon your level of consciousness or your intelligence or your knowledge. It's personal and it's intimate. And as someone who's been on both sides of the fence now, I can testify to the fact that it's counterfeit. And there is a better form of spirituality out there that comes through faith and comes through Jesus. And it doesn't depend upon my energy field. It doesn't depend upon my state of consciousness. And it doesn't depend upon how much knowledge I have. And so I want to help guide people and encourage people into a spirituality that is actually real and tangible and provides them wholeness and completeness and gives them new life. The third reason why I'm exposing the New Age is because there are people who are in spiritual bondage right now. Over the last few years, I've had so many, so many, so many people message me saying, hey, you know, I'm really struggling with nightmares. I'm really struggling with sleep paralysis. I feel like there's something dark attached to me all the time. I feel like I'm oppressed by evil spirits. And personally, I think it's unfair that people are being fed lies. They're being fed a counterfeit spirituality that oftentimes isn't even safe and is extremely spiritually dangerous, which we'll touch on in later videos. And then they're oppressed by dark forces, dark spirits the rest of their life, struggling paying money to go to Reiki practitioners to get rid of these astral parasites on them and stuff. And there are also people who are struggling with depression and struggling with anxiety. And so the third reason is really just to help people spiritually, to help people overcome these things and to break free from the chains that they're in. The fourth reason why I'm exposing the New Age is because some of it is just straight up demonic. Like some of it's straight up satanic and Luciferian. In my next video, we're going to be looking at how 
the entire New Age movement is rooted in satanic philosophy. It was started by a Satanist. It was started by a Freemason who was Luciferian and praised Satan as being the spiritual father of mankind. There's some stuff in the New Age which is false. There's some stuff in the New Age which, you know, might be a little unsafe. But there's also some stuff that is just straight up demonic. And I'm not just saying demonic because I'm Christian now. There's some channeled material, for example, that is channeled by entities who say, you know, we're fallen angels and we worship the Lord of the world. We worship Satan in the astral planes. And then they proceed to go on with a bunch of esoteric nonsense. And so even if you aren't a Christian or you don't become a Christian, which I hope you do, I think I can speak for everyone when I say that nobody wants to believe in something that is satanic. And the fifth reason is that if Jesus is who he claimed to be, then absolutely everything changes and we have to understand everything in a whole new light. There are a lot of false gospels and false theories of Jesus that get floated around the New Age, some of which I used to believe, but when we go back to his actual words and read them, there's really only three options. He was either a religious charlatan, a paranoid schizophrenic, or he's the Messiah, or he's the Son of God. And I'll prove in future videos how he wasn't a mystic, or how he wasn't, you know, some kind of self-realized guru who was trying to teach us Christ consciousness or something. Jesus was a monotheistic Jew who claimed to be the Son of God and the only path of salvation. And he either is or he isn't. And I think we have very good reasons to believe that he is, which we'll explore in future videos. And if he is, and if he really was resurrected from the dead, supernaturally, then that would mean that he is the ultimate authority on topics like theology, morality, salvation, the afterlife, spirituality, and so forth. And if he's the real deal, then people in the New Age need to know this, because people are literally being robbed of grace, of love, of mercy, of a supernatural relationship that they didn't even know was possible, because they're being fed false gospels by people like Deepak Chopra or Eckhart Tolle, or because they categorize Jesus as being, you know, a fictional character or something like this. And people are also being robbed of, of spiritual rebirth, of spiritual regeneration, and all of these other things that come when we submit ourselves to Christ and have faith in Christ. And so if Jesus is who he claimed to be, then, you know, this life isn't just some prism that we get to explore for a bit, or some schoolhouse that we're just passing through and then we take our knowledge back to some neutral spirit world. And if Jesus is Lord, and if the Bible is correct, then we only have one life. We don't reincarnate over and over and over again. And what we do and the path we follow matters because there are implications and consequences that might be eternal. And so I guess the reason I'm exposing the New Age is because I want to encourage people and direct people away from falsehood and away from lies and towards the truth. And I think we have really good reason to believe that Jesus Christ is the truth. And so once again, this isn't about me Bible bashing you or condemning people. All I'm doing is condemning ideas, condemning beliefs, and exposing the falsehood of certain propositions, and directing people towards ones which are true. And in so doing, help deliver people from false spirituality, from spiritual bondage, and to hopefully lead them to a supernatural relationship with the Lord. And so thanks for watching, I got a new video coming out in a few days. About 80 hours worth of research went into this next video, and it's going to be extremely informative and extremely eye-opening, so please stick around for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.